you can still Nanoblade to Transcendence in Season 9. It just looks a little different than what we're used to. In the past, all you needed to do was properly time your dash so it connected right after a swing, resulting in a one-shot combo. That burst is now impossible without a second form of damage amplification. So the new approach is to win the attrition battle, which is done by swinging twice, dashing and swinging twice again. Due to the swing recovery speed buff, dashing after a single swing actually loses DPS now, as odd swings have a very small recovery period, while even swings have a long one, which is why we only want to dash after swinging twice. This combo works because you deal a total of 735 damage in the time frame Zen heals 480 HP, resulting in 255 unhealed damage, which is enough to kill 250 HP characters. Now here's the interesting part. While testing to see if this worked versus 300 HP characters, I found out that while it was impossible to kill them with a single dash, a second one after the first swing always did the trick. But why? Well, after investigating for a bit, I realized Nanoblade swings perfectly nullify Transcendence healing, meaning that any extra sources of damage, such as wall times dash, become permanent damage. In conclusion, Nanoblade can now be used not only for solo carry plays without team follow-up, but also as a reliable way to negate Zen's ult for your team so they can pick up all the kills. Just make sure to play around extra healing sources, as they will mess up with his delicate balance between damage and healing. If you want to always have perfect blades, check out this video showcasing how to play around enemy resources like a champ.